Let's see. Over the last week, the Dow has lost over 900 points in volatile trading. France is experiencing its fourth weekend of demonstrations by the Yellow Vests, which have resulted in over a thousand arrests. George H.W. Bush passed away. The Mueller investigation is starting to move into a new phase. So what should we talk about? How about none of these things? Let's talk about something else, shall we? When our society discusses issues politely, with each side seeking a peaceful resolution, everyone benefits. When the discussion is a highly polarized shouting match between people who just don't listen to each other, well, it's time for some roasted opinions. Patreon has been quite an innovative company since Jack Conti started it, providing a refuge for monetized creators during the adpocalypse. More than a few channels owe their existence to Patreon, and more than a few creators kept their bills paid via their patrons when YouTube decided to impose another round of algorithms on everyone. Creators who work on their channels full-time might see a significant slowdown in their income due to the dreaded yellow dollar sign, but at least they still have the patronage from Patreon. What's more, Patreon doesn't charge very much for processing transactions, relatively speaking, so content creators actually got to keep a lot more from those contributions than they did from Super Chats, and certainly more than they made from advertising which wasn't running on their videos unless someone issued a copyright claim. Creators really counted on Patreon as a primary source of channel income until this weekend. Smooth move, Jack. Now Patreon has taken pages down before. They trashed Lauren Southern's page, ostensibly because she was on a vessel that was endangering immigrants trying to cross the Mediterranean Sea on overloaded boats. I believe the facts in question are arguable, but honestly, Ms. Southern has a habit of inserting herself into the story despite the fact that she is a reporter. So I bitched about it and expected that nothing would change without a lot more creators, especially big creators, getting involved. I'm not monetized. I did plan to publish a Patreon page when I had enough subs to make it worth my while, but I really don't have the sort of weight that it will take to get Jack's attention. Things quietly went on until they took down Sargon of Akkad's page, again without prior notice or explanation. Since that happened, I have to wonder what Jack is thinking. First of all, taking down a creator's page without a good reason is a risky proposition, as Jack himself admitted especially when that creator has a big following. Carl Benjamin does. As of this recording, his main channel has 861,000 subscribers, his live stream channel has 160,000, The Thinkery, his secondary channel, has 330,000, and even his Ancient Recitations channel has 74,000. His reach is really big, and his Patreon page was one of the biggest on the service. Taking down his page was a very risky move from a business perspective, and Patreon needed to have all their moves and motivations documented before they did it because of the inevitable backlash. Pay attention to what I'm about to say, Jack. They didn't, of course. Like I said, they took it down before they notified him that they had done it or provided a reason for doing so. Were you aware that your employees were going to do that, Jack? Now I talked this over with my brother, and he reminded me yet again that Patreon is a business. They have the right to decide with whom they wish to do business, and no business contract is a suicide pact. Believe it or not, he's absolutely right. However, I believe that Sargon may have cause for legal action against Patreon and Jack Conte. First, while business contracts may be terminated in accordance with their terms of service, Patreon has an obligation to notify the creators of their decision in writing before they act. They also have an obligation to provide a reason for the decision. If Sargon found out after the page was taken down, as seems to have happened, and then only because he contacted Patreon and not the other way around, again as seems to have happened, then Patreon may be in breach of contract and Mr. Benjamin may be able to sue. In order to do so, he just has to file in a court with jurisdiction and show actual harm. And given the fact that Patreon processed thousands of dollars per month in voluntary contributions and that money constitutes a significant source of income for Sargon, I believe that harm can be demonstrated easily. You better call your lawyers, Jack. Furthermore, 
Patreon should be grateful that they are a privately held company. It insulates them from some of the inevitable backlash that they will face. The relationship between creators and Patreon is a client service provider relationship. And clients can terminate service providers without notice or justification unless they signed a term limited contract. That's right, Jack. They are your clients, not just the people who donate using your service. A significant number of your clients are making changes too, because this is not the first time that you have done this, and this is their income from their job with which you are messing. Zargon redirected his patrons to Subscribestar. At the very least, Tim Poole and Ian Miles Chong have also done this. I'm not sure just how many creators will shift from Patreon to Subscribestar, but these are not small channels, Jack. You just lost all of those transaction fees. Understand that you don't have to find anything wrong with their channels, and in Tim Pool's case, I don't believe that you will find anything remotely objectionable because he is primarily a reporter and commentator, not a pundit or an activist. Understand, Jack, that you are not losing creators and the transaction fees that you will get because of solidarity only. More of these creators will switch to Subscribestar and other services because their channels are their businesses and they do not want to risk their primary sources of income. They would rather use a service that does not curate their content beyond looking for illegal activity. I know that you don't want to show support for patently evil content, Jack but you already have legal protections in place. You are covered under safe harbor provisions, aren't you? All that you have to do is to suspend the page and notify the creator of the offending content. The creator can then either fix the problem or file an appeal. And in either case, you, Jack, retain the right to say that they have not done enough. Incidentally, that also covers you if the creator chooses to seek legal redress because you have provided them with notice and justification before permanently terminating their account. Believe it or not, I'm working to build up this channel's reach. I do hope to monetize someday, which is why I've been working on improving my content and editing. I've also been consulting with some experienced YouTubers about how to increase my views and subs so that I could publish my Patreon page and hopefully make some money. I have canceled my Patreon page, though. Um, no. Just, no. Screw that, really. My videos contain my opinions. I'm not making yet another commentary channel where people can go to hear their own opinions regurgitated to them. I want people from both sides of the arguments to watch my content and discuss their takes in the comments section. My beliefs can stand exposure to disagreement. I can argue my positions, and I want others to argue theirs too. I want to see if it's still possible for average people to have these conversations without it meaning the end of their friendships. That's why I present both sides before I give my opinions, and I'm not changing that other to make sure that you know what my opinions are. That might not be friendly content for Patreon. I will not be posting as many videos as I have been for a while. I've tried posting twice a week in order to beat the algorithm. After a couple months of this, I have to step back. I'd rather make better videos than make more videos, and my videos will continue to get better as I get more practice making them. I'll be making several more over the latter half of December, for example, so that I can build up a reserve of videos and make sure that I publish every Saturday. I'm hoping that this will also foster that conversation that could make a Patreon page unacceptable to Jack Conti. As of this recording, I am on Twitter, Discord, Minds, and Reddit. It takes me a few minutes to share my link everywhere that I can when my videos publish. People can find my videos if they are looking for them. If you are watching this, watch a few of my other videos. If you like them, share them, but you don't have to like them. I'm doing this because it's fun and because I have something to say. This channel may be growing slowly, but it is growing. So long as I have an audience, I intend to keep making videos and striving for that goal to get the conversation going in my comments sections. My opinion is that the issues featured in my videos are worth discussing. If you think that I should make a video about something which you haven't seen yet, then tell me. I'm open to suggestions. I don't guarantee that I will say what you want to hear, but I have opinions about practically everything.
I try to concentrate on the things which I know about, and if I can't speak from an informed position, then I will delay a video until I've done some more research. I think that being informed is much more important than being popular anyway. That's why I make videos about the U.S. Constitution and American history. I actually majored in history in college and studied American history in grad school. But again, I have to think about what is going to be going on in my videos and in the comments sections associated with those videos. Evidently, not just YouTube is going to be studying to see what people are saying. Patreon is also going to be looking very hard to make sure that my comment sections aren't full of a bunch of brain-dead idiots who are spouting tripe and nonsense that offends everyone. And on a commentary channel, that's likely to happen. Eventually, I will monetize my channel, Jack. I just won't be monetizing it on Patreon. Sorry, Mr. Conte. Your service is just too risky for me to use it to monetize my channel. I will have to go with one that is only going to be looking for illegal content because I cannot guarantee that the people that watch and comment on my videos are going to behave themselves. Now that's just my opinion. Comment below to share yours. If you like this video, check out my playlists. Check out these channels I have subscribed for more great content. New episodes are coming, so subscribe and ring the bell. And feel free to share the link.